the previous session, we saw how to add and subtract algebraic expressions. Friends, in this session, we will look at some common misconceptions related to this concept. Look at this question. Can you tell us what is the right option? The correct option here is B. Now for some of you, the answer may have been either option A or option C. Let's see why. We have read about the commutative property in the previous classes. Always remember that commutative property is true for addition. For example, 2 plus 4 and 4 plus 2 are the same. But subtraction does not show commutative property. For example, 2 minus 4 is similar to negative 2. But 4 minus 2 is similar to positive 2. This means that 2 minus 4 and 4 minus 2 are not the same. Commutative property is not true for subtraction. Let us now use it here in the given question. Our question says that 5x square plus 3 be subtracted from 3x plus 4. The expression from which the second expression is subtracted will be written first and then the expression that is to be subtracted will be written. So, our first stage will look like this. After simplifying the expression of option A, we will get this result. After simplifying the expression of option B, we get this result. We can see that the two expressions are different. Then, option C cannot be the right answer. Hence, option B is the correct answer and not option A or option C. Now let us look at the other misconception. Suppose I asked you this question. I give you two options. Which is the correct option? The correct option is B. Let's see why. This is the expression that will be subtracted. So our first step would look like this. In our last session, we have seen that when opening brackets while subtracting, the signs of all the terms inside the brackets get inverted. Now this is where we make mistakes. When opening the brackets, we replace 4x with negative 4x, but we forget to replace the symbol negative 5. We write negative 5 in the same way. So, our second step would look like this. After simplifying in this way, we get this answer. We have to pay attention that the sign of all the terms of the expression that are subtracted will change. So, this would be the correct step. After simplifying, we get this result. Thus, option B is correct. In this session, we saw two misconceptions related to subtraction of algebraic expressions. In the next session, we will learn to multiply algebraic expressions.